A short while ago, ByteDance released Seed Dance 1.0, and this video generator is off the chain, to the point it's already giving some of the other top names in video generation a run for their money. In this video, we'll take a look at how to use Seed Dance, how you can get it for free, some other results you'll get, and some areas of concern. Now, why is Seed Dance getting so much attention? Well, two big reasons are its ability to create multi-camera angles and consistency with prompting, which is a big advantage over other video generators. Furthermore, Seed Dance lets you create several types of media. For example, you can create images from text, videos from text, and avatars from text. For the purpose of today, we'll focus on Seed Dance's ability to create videos focusing on two methods, text to video and image to video. Just so you understand, Seed Dance is a part of Germania's creative suite, and the company behind everything is CapCut, of which we'll talk about later. As of the making of this video, Seed Dance is not yet available worldwide, but you creative thinkers out there will know that using a VPN can come in handy right about now. Just saying. To get started, you want to visit this site and then sign up with the account of your choice. I'll also put the link in the description as well. Now, after you sign up, you'll be brought to this homepage or explore area. On this main section, here you can see some of the showcase videos. And up here at the top of the screen, this is one of the places you can create your AI images, AI video with multiple shots from one prompt, an AI avatar, and coming soon, this mimic motion. But just to make things easier to see, alternatively, over here on the left, we can click on the create icon and we'll be brought to the screen. At this point, all we have to do is tell Seed Dance what type of media to create, paste in a prompt, and adjust a few settings. So let's cruise down here and make sure we choose AI video. Next, we want to choose our model type. The Video 3.0 Pro is a paid solution and would clearly give the best results. But for today, we're just getting a feel for what Seed Dance can do. So we'll go with Video 3.0. We can also set our aspect ratio by clicking right here and going with the choice we want. And last is the video length. You can choose between five seconds or 10 seconds. The difference being the amount of credits used. Let's go ahead and paste in our prompt and generate the video. For what it's worth, on the free plan, I've noticed that creating videos can take anywhere between three minutes up to and over an hour. Okay, so I'll show you the end results here in a little while. But for right now, let's keep things moving and take a look at the image to video prompt. To start, let's go over here and click on the create button if needed and make sure we are indeed using AI video. The next step is to click on this plus sign and then choose the image you want to use. In this case, I'm going to use an image created from ChatGPT that shows yours truly and the crew at Universal Studios. And we're going to ask Seed Dance to animate the photo by having everyone wave, then cut to us walking through the park. Okay, so now the big reveal. Let's take a moment and see some of the completed videos. The first prompt was a text to video prompt with a sloth sitting at a small table in a cozy coffee shop, drinking a hot coffee, enjoying the peaceful ambiance. The camera moves gently around the sloth capturing the warm sunlight coming through the windows, casting soft glows across the room. The sloth has a calm expression and slow movements to enhance the serene atmosphere. He then smiles at the camera. In the background is a coffee machine that's slightly blurred. So the video is only five seconds long and it's being looped so you can see it, but overall, not too bad. The sloth does look realistic. The motion is pretty smooth. The steam coming off the coffee is pretty good. So yeah, I can work with this. Next, let's take a look at another text to video prompt. For this one, I asked for a multi-shot segment that shows a Yeti running down the street wearing workout gear. We then cut to a cinematic back view with him further down the street. So for this one, the results are okay. The video started out looking pretty decent, but then with the back view, the Yeti wasn't jogging. Some of the signs were unintelligible, but if you look over here, it looks like it's trying to show his reflection in the sign. So that's kind of interesting. All right, let's move on and take a look at another text to video prompt. So for this one, I wanted a college professor to walk into a room where he opens up his notebook, then the camera cuts to him looking at the class. So this one turned out okay. Overall, it's pretty realistic, but his hands do act kind of funky and it looks like his fingers are morphing a bit. The background images aren't really that bad, but the text itself is not clear yet. I'll take it. And for the last one, let's see how C dance handled the image to video prompt with my family at Universal Studios. So here's the prompt. And in summary, we're asking Seed Dance to animate the family and then cut to them walking through the park. 
Now, I actually created two versions of the video just to compare the different results. For the first one, it started out strong, but between my wife and my daughter's arms, it kind of seems a little odd. And for some reason, it made me look shorter and stockier. That wasn't very nice. And for some other reasons, our dogs are floating and then out of nowhere, a new one appears. So, eh, all right, I'm not overly impressed. For the second attempt, the video started out strong, but then once again, our dog is floating like she's wearing an anti-gravity coat and her second dog has vanished. So again, eh, it could use some work. I'll reserve my full thoughts on Sea Dance, but in a nutshell, I think it performs pretty well. And my hunch is going with the paid plan and the latest model would give way better results, but I'm more interested in what you think. So let me know in the comments. Now going one step further, Another option is after the video has been generated, you can go back and add a soundtrack to it, but it'll cost you 10 credits. To add a soundtrack, first click on the video, then on the lower right, click generate soundtrack, and you can create the soundtrack based off the first frame or customize it. Moving on, let's talk a little bit about pricing. The free plan will give you 120 credits per day, but if you decide to go with the paid plan, you can get a yearly, monthly, or one month subscription. The biggest advantage here is you can create higher quality videos along with adding some dialogue. And that's pretty cool and something to consider. But now for the big word of caution. As you may know, CapCut recently changed its terms of service. And the part that has a lot of people upset is the usage rights. Specifically, CapCut now claims broad rights over everything you upload to their app. Simply put, this gives CapCut the ability to use your videos, voice, face, and name forever for free and without asking or paying you. Now, I'm not an attorney and this is not legal advice. Yet in my view, it sounds like CapCut can now use your content however they want. So I checked out Seed Dance's terms of service as well. And lo and behold, in section eight, it says you grant Germania and ByteDance a perpetual worldwide non-exclusive royalty-free and sub-licensable license to use your content for any purpose. So in simple terms, it sounds like they get ongoing global rights to everything you generate. Again, this is not legal advice, but I suggest you read the terms of service to decide if using Seed Dance is something you wish to do. Now, one of the biggest issues you'll run into with any video generation app is if you're not careful, you'll burn through your credits really quick. So this video will show you the five key elements to use when writing video prompts.